Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Sky Factory 3. Today, I intend on, well, getting a few things done. Namely, <laughs> the little something missing at the end of this uh, plank here. Uh, I had some really good suggestions from you guys, and yes, uh, I derp out regularly. Uh, for instance, F7 helps with light levels. Ha <laughs> ha ha, yeah, look at that. I could have died. Um, and apparently, yes, SNAD is installed in here. I, I didn't think that it would be oh geez and the recipe on it is really simple you take two sand and stack it and that that gives you ow ow jerk um that gives you uh <laughs> uh fertilized versions of sand which then uh speeds up the growth of that stuff so actually i i feel i should probably do that with the big colossal chest which i it's actually a little bit glitchy um let me show you if i open this up and i look at the recipe of let's say charcoal i click on here oh the chest closed well let's go back to my inventory and it opens again but what if i want to check the recipe of copper ingot it, oh hey it it closed again well all right let's go back and oh it didn't open this time well, what, what the heck is going on i have no idea it's a little glitchy with that but i mean it, it's just a matter of the opening and closing animation <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it's like a haunted colossal chest, and I, I kind of like that idea. Um, I did take a bunch of ore out of here, uh, iron ore specifically, uh, put it in here, and make up a bunch of iron ingots. Because uh, what I plan on doing is making myself also, before I start doing the snad stuff, uh, is um, I'm going to craft a bunch of crap in my inventory. No, I need a chest and this and i should have there we go enough to make a hopper uh now i there are probably better and easier ways of doing this but um as far as this is going to go uh, i'm just going to use these two as they are um for instance let me start off by taking a bunch of that out because that was already full it, it's actually going really really quick yeah see it it's just there's a bunch of it um what i'm going to do is put it over here and oh what what if I, what if I make a colossal chest just for st no that that's a bit crazy. Um, I think I should stick to uh, drawers for the meantime. Yeah yeah, I think I should stick to drawers for the meantime. So therefore, if I put this up higher, um, like say here, it should. Well, that's not exactly the the facing that I was hoping for, but it should still work. I think. Um, what I'm going to try and do here, let's see, uh, tape. Um tape is is there tape tape measure packing tape and packing tape let's do the storage drawers packing tape requires slime balls and paper <laughs> yeah freaking slime ball. I, I don't think i have slime balls pretty sure i don't have any slime balls in here yeah there's not much in there i've got clay um i might be able to make some sort of slime balls what, what's the packing tape that one uses slime balls too that's pretty bad slime ball slime ball slime ball coagulated blood slime ball rice slime ball that might be doable because uh, apparently i can get uh rice stuff at this uh at this point i i just kind of skipped past it before um but let's see the recipe for that is a bucket of water with some rice dough and rice dough is made from rice and rice uh, is made from rice seeds which apparently uh you can get through different methods uh via a sieve a flint stiffened mesh you get a whole bunch of different seeds that i've been looking for plus more stone uh but for now this is probably going to make a big mess so let's let's try i don't know if this that is very slow i'll use the that one there that's not that bad actually uh, i might have lost some stuff i i don't know really uh but let's put this here put that in there uh, all of it in there and then i will put this on top and we'll see what happens oh <gasps> it's working oh beautiful beautiful so i now have an ever flowing stone making contraption oh it's that's so so much better and of course i also have lava being made right now just so that you know um which actually i should probably um take a few of these out see if, oh apparently this can take a lot more uh, i figure i'm going to need a bunch of lava so for now i'll uh, just poke that around a little bit until it gets full i keep i keep looking for like my double chest over here it's not there anymore um so what i need is more sand i've got a bunch of dust um but i guess i could probably take out a few of this uh how many do i have here i've got three um six nine ten all right so i'm gonna make ten therefore i'm going to need oh, 
you know, I'm going to take the cobble out of there because that's just not going to be useful. And uh, let's place it down. You know, I've got enough here. If I grab a little bit, I get 18, then I could start crafting it and uh, just use my hammer of smashings. Doop. And then just place that down, that down, and then I just smash this a couple times. Uh, making, of course, the uh, uh, crafting equivalents of sand, which really is going to be two compressed gravel that's going to be smashed. There we go. And smash, smash. There we go. And now I could take these, and in fact, I might as well take these right now and put them above each other like this. Snad. Make ourselves some snad. Look at that. I've got nine. Of course, I need more, but it, I'm, I'm not that bothered by it. Um, in fact, I'm going to grab the uh, cacti first because otherwise everything else is going to like potentially um, like break and I'd, if, if they land on the cacti. Oh, oh, careful. Going off on the edge there. Uh, so I'm just going to grab these. Here's the problem is that, um, well... All this stuff is surrounded uh, by torches, and if I do this, it's going to be a big mess. So let's let's grab my bucket, bucket stuff up, and be a bit smart about this. I'm going to try and work smarter and not harder. <laughs> we'll see about that, though. You know, it is me after all. So there's three, and uh, I can put this bucket back down, and I'll continue on with this, uh, breaking these and so on. So, oh, that might be a problem. Hmm. Already ran into some issues. You know what? I've got a better solution. Let's just do this, and uh, uh, then I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes once I switch out this sand. Oh, bye, Torch, with Snad. And there we go. Apparently, through my uh, messing ups over here, oh, there's a tiny torch. What the heck? Get out of here. I want full size. Um, I, I did lose a little bit of cactus. Um, it might have gone over the edge. I, I don't know. But either way, this is now snad. Everything here is snad. It was actually much easier and quicker than I thought. I probably could have just switched them out without having to surround them with stuff. But, oh well. And I've got regular sand left in here that I figure is going to be pretty useful at some point. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to just turn it into snad and mess myself up just yet. Because I could always do that in the future. So let's see. I am determined to make a, a dark room of sorts today. Um, whoops. Uh, so... That's what I'm going to work on next, and I'm going to be sieving some rice. In order to get rice seeds, I'm going to need to sieve in those uh, wonderful stiff, uh, flint stiffened mesh that I've got over here. Uh, but the what I need to, uh, well, sieve is going to be dirt. So in order to make dirt, I've got multiple options. Um, one of which, of course, is going to be, you know, the usual cut down a tree and put this in here. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking that there are other ways that I could go about doing this. Because right now I've got, got uh, options for wood very easily. And I could use this wood as a fuel source. <laughs> and a fuel source uh, might involve a certain botanical uh, properties. So um, I don't know if it's too early game for it or not. But I figure, you know... I might try uh, my hand at starting up some Batania so I can just use that dirt wand and um, uh, therefore, well, uh, get that going. So first and foremost, let's uh, make a Batana, a Lexica Botanica. I think that's what it's called. Lexica Batania, of course. So I just need a sapling, uh, which that's not the chest. There's the chest. One sapling and a book, which I think I can make a book with some wood. Um, and some uh, patterns, I believe. Are there any empty patterns? There's a blank pattern right there. Uh, actually, it might take two if I haven't forgotten. Um, it'll also take some sticks, which I've got sticks, got wood. Let's turn this into that. Oh, wow. I've already got... <laughs> okay, well, uh, anyway, recipe, recipe is going to be... Oh, I need string. Well, that shouldn't be a problem either. I should have some string as well. There we go. Recipe for that. I need paper. Oh, crud. Paper. Um, do I have any sugar cane already grown in here? No, but I do have some bone meal that's not going to work because it's sugar cane. I've, I can make one piece of paper. <laughs> that's a start, I guess. Oh, no, that gave me three. That's beautiful. Oh, that is so good. All right, that, that was unexpected, and I just clicked the wrong button here. Let's click this. 
Oh, excellent. So now I can make a Lexica Batania, uh, which is going to say, congratulations, you did a bunch of stuff, good job, and so on and so forth, but you have to page through all this stuff to get to the game. There we go. Now you're actually in the book. I hate that part at the beginning. Um, but in this, I can make uh, mystical items. We want, uh, is it Rod of the Depths? No, I don't think it is. It's one that looks like Dripping Dirt. Rod of the Lands, which is going to be very simple. Uh, Rune of Earth is going to be a bit, ooh. Ew. Okay. Well, still, I have confidence that I, I can I can do this. Um, we should have some, uh, well, some stone that. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can smelt up. In fact, I'm going to start smelting this stuff up, and then uh, I'm also going to work on making myself a. Um, let's see, five. That should do. Plus some of these, and uh, I, I. Oh, it's the the flowers. The Batania flowers. Um, so let's see, petals. Let's see if there are ways of obtaining these. Recipes, of course, mystical white flower. I don't know if they're just going to show up from um, like spawning in the world or if I have to go through mystical agriculture. I don't think that I need to because I, I think I might be able to just plant them down, but I need to get some uh, some dirt in an area where I can actually start growing stuff. That would probably be a really good idea. And then I could just like start, um, I keep on clicking on there. Oh my gosh. Then I can start growing some grass. I don't know. This is just what I'm thinking. It might be a little too early game for it. Um, but uh, I, I do need a lot of dirt anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself some, uh, some stores of dirt and I will be back with you guys uh, once I accomplish that. All right, so I currently have a little bit of dirt. I mean, 36 is not a ton, but it is, you know, flint. So therefore, maybe I'll get something good here. Let's uh, see what I get after I save a uh, few stacks of this. Should be pretty good. I mean, yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of stone as well, but uh, who cares? So let's first and foremost take care of the stone and uh, kind of make... Wait, what the... Stone pebbles... Oh, I got granite and diorite stones. That's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, there we go. That uh, should take care of those ones. And this should take care of those ones. So I, I got a ton of stuff in here. Uh, let me actually deposit some of this cobble that is currently uh, corrupting my inventory. That's right, corrupting. And I can use these for making pillars and wedges, of course. Oh, wow. There is just so much stuff that I can uh, potentially make with this. I'm I'm not even going to bother right now because it seems to be able to uh, replace so many different things. Um, oh, wow. There's just so much uh, in here. Regardless, that wasn't why I was doing it. I have flax seeds now, carrot seeds, coffee seeds, melon seeds, grass seeds, rice seeds. That's right, rice seeds. But the problem is, I think... Oh, no, I didn't. I thought that I saved, like, all my... <laughs> all my dirt, but luckily I did not. Um, oh, I've still got andesite pebbles in here. Let's make some andesite too. There we go. Uh, put those all in there for the time being. Uh, potato, beetroot, sugarcane. I already have a bunch of sugarcane, which has been growing quite nicely, by the way. Uh, we're going to keep the rice seeds. Uh, going to toss the rest of this stuff in the chest for now. Canola seeds. And a menril sapling. What? What is this? Making jungle chests from dark utilities. Bark. No, okay, yeah, that's just sapling recipes. Greenhouse glass. I wonder if that's required with mineral saplings. They look really cool regardless. Uh, at least the little sapling does. I'm curious what the plant itself looks like. Um, and then that's just, of course, recycling it into other stuff. So I, I might... I might plant one of those just to see what it is. Um, it's probably going to like destroy my base or something silly like that, and I, I don't even know it. <laughs> which which could be interesting one way or another. But uh, let's... Oh wait, do I have any other cobblestone in there? No, I don't think I do. Uh, granite, stone pebbles. Let's turn all of it into cobble as much as I can. Get rid of those and... Put the stone away. Excellent. All right, so uh, I, I wasn't actually expecting this to pop up, but there we go. I now have that. Break that. Break this. Get this stuff out of the way. And let's find out what this mineral sapling looks like, uh, besides really cool um, in its little tiny self. It, it might pop this cactus off of here. I don't know. Uh, it might uh, destroy a few of the sugar cane and, and pop them off as well. But uh, whoa, whoa, that's actually pretty neat. Um, I kind of like that. 
I'm kind of at mineral logs. Huh. I'm curious what kind of wood. Well, first I should see what that can be turned into. Uh, well, just about any other wood log item, I think. Oh, give me that. Gimme. And then I can turn it into planks. Oh, really pretty planks, too. And of course, they just work like anything else. I, I don't think that there's anything really spectacular about them. I mean, they look like they can be used in place of just about any wood recipe. Yeah, and uh, they just look really nice. Let's let's put a couple down here and have a look at them. Those are cool. They're like little, they're like blue blocks or something instead of the... Uh, the other one, I like this these a lot actually. Um, so I'm, I might start harvesting mineral saplings. I don't know if they're gonna actually drop um, apples <laughs> or not. Oh, and I just broke that. Well, that's all right. Um, oh, there's a piece left up there. So rude. Give me that. Um, do I have any cobble on me? No. Now I do. So let's put this up here. Piece of cobble. That's not what I wanted to do. I need the tool station. Okay, repair it. Good. Too good. So from that I got mineral berries, tasty and illuminating, plus more mineral saplings, of course, which actually I was wondering if I was going to get, um, you know, uh, an apple equivalent um, from it because, uh, you know, you get from the oak trees your apples, which you can turn into a really, what? I got a crystallized mineral chunk. Integrated dynamics. Interesting. Block of crystallized mineral. Logic cable. Wait a minute. This looks like some kind of inventory sorting system. Wrench. Variable card. Okay, yeah. Clear or copy in a crafting grid. Labeler. Labels your variables. Also works in the logic programmer. Okay. Interesting. A battery? Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, very interesting to me. Um... I was not expecting that fluid interface. <laughs> All right, so found something else about this. Um, but I'm also curious, since I am hungry, I might try eating one of those uh, mineral berries, see what happens. I, I don't know if anything bad's going to happen, so let's... Oh, ooh, I had dark vision there for a moment. Oh, and that gave me a ton of, of, of health compared to, like, the worms I was eating. Those are good. Those are real good. All right, I'm 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 switching to mineral uh, saplings here. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Um, I would put another one here, but I think it's a little close to the chest, and I don't want it to uh, interfere with the chest by growing and, like, displacing a corner of it or something silly like that. Oh, they're not... Yes, it was. Okay, I'm like, it's not getting sparkles. There's no sparkles. <laughs> it's totally getting sparkles. I see. Every time that uh, I get one of those uh, crystallized mineral chunks, it stops vein mining which is actually very annoying um now that i think about it so let me break my uh my <laughs> tool again uh do, i need more stone there we go i'm glad i made this thing out of such a cheap material it's for sure uh put that here grab this back put it in there there we go i should just make a bunch of uh, stone repair uh parts but um for the meantime let's just kind of do this. I, I know I probably could have done this better elsewhere. Um, uh, used a different block and everything, but oh well. What's done is done. This is really interesting though. That I can get these shards from this tree. Crystallized mineral chunks, or chunks I should say. And I also get the logs and I get some of these mineral berries, which... Can I use these for anything? Oh wow, yes. Static light panel. Simply light panel that is always active. Visually display a variable value in the world as text. Interesting. Biomash. <laughs> with, an, with a knife. Okay. Mineral torches. What? I can make torches out of these things? Okay. I'm, I'm curious about that. Just a stick and a berry. Um, let's let's see what this looks like. I'm, I'm very easily entertained right now, uh, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, this is just like such an interesting mechanic of just... Mineral torches. Let's uh, grab those and let's put one down. That looks like crap. <laughs> oh well, at, at least it uh, appears like it will have some kind of light level though, so I can put that in there. Uh, I'm going to keep the food on me. 
Um, I might as well put another sapling down, let it grow on its own for now. I'll keep the oak leaves. Oh, that's right. I was destroying the leaves. I wasn't shaving them, um, which is probably something that I need to do is uh, save those. But anyway, I need to get to uh, the rice seeds. I need to make some... Um, I, I don't know that I can make some fertile soil or... Uh, well, let's look up soil. Uh, consecrated graveyard, tainted, 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 enchanted. All right, so dirt. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's from extra utility or extra utility. It's from random things. So let's do random things and let's see if I can find the dirt that I'm looking for here. I, d I don't even see it. Has it been removed? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess it was uh, removed because it was too OP of an item. <laughs> Perhaps. I, I couldn't really tell you, but I don't see it in there. I'm probably just derping right now, and you guys are going to tell me, Valen, it's right there on the screen or something. But uh, I, I'm not seeing the, uh, the uh, fertilized soil or dirt. I can't remember which it was from, uh, from that mod. But anyway, oh, look at that. They're growing up really good. I need to grab those while they're uh, like this. Uh, so that they don't just like all disappear and go away. Come here. I need to expand this platform. It is just too precarious in its current state as well. Oy. All right. Um, I do have some dirt. And with that, I can at least place a small farm. Um, let's see if this is going to just be rice. Uh, I don't really have anything going on in any specific direction. I, I've already got stuff growing over here, so I might as well try and place uh, a bit of a farm maybe uh this looks this is an area that i wanted to grow out or get further out anyway so in the meantime let's try growing some stuff and from what i understand of vanilla mechanics it's best to have rows and yes things will grow slightly faster but i would still like to grow things faster nonetheless uh so uh let's see what else can i get in here jungle seeds no 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 Birch, oak, pumpkin, carrot seeds. That sounds good. All right, this way I can alternate the uh, items that are growing over here. I'm also going to need to put down some water. Um, so that's that's a thing. Um, yeah, I didn't really think that through. Uh, I guess I'm going to have a, a waterfall or a water feature. <laughs> I guess we'll find out here. There we go. And... I'm just going to uh, kind of build this out a little bit, make myself a little farm area, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. There we go. I now have a completed, uh, well, a little bit bigger than I needed, 9x9 nine nine area, uh, but uh, I just need to hydrate it. So I'm going to grab my bucket, my infinite water source here, and get a little bit of water. Yes, it is infinite. Good. Okay, <laughs> and uh, grab this ugly torch in the middle. Uh, remove the dirt block. Hopefully I'll get it back. I don't know. We'll see. I did. I got very lucky with that. And then I can place down a block on top uh, and light it up. So let's make it one of these here. And then, heck, I could put one of those on top of it. Why not? That, that sounds pretty good. There was a lot of harvesting, by the way, of, um, of tree stuff in the meantime. Oh, yep, I forgot running actually does the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that there, that there, put torch on top. Kind of looks like a, some kind of grow lamp or something, maybe? I don't know. Just kind of kind of thinking, eh, this is nothing really that special, but uh, yeah. So now to just kind of do the thing and the stuff, level up my, uh, it is called my fate, yes. It is called my fate. I actually haven't re replaced it with bone parts yet, which is uh, something that I need to do. I will do once I'm able to grow myself a very lovely uh, little farm here. Get myself a uh, mob spawner going. Alright, so in the end I have a lot of seeds. <laughs> I have a lot of seeds. Um, and I'm thinking uh, if I do this properly, I should be able to, let's see, there's, these are carrot seeds and wheat seeds. Should be able to uh, get a decent um, showing of stuff here. Uh, I think if I line this up like so, and then I put the pumpkin seeds here uh, and the melon seeds over here, 
Actually, might as well do some more pumpkins just because I've, I've got the extra seeds. They should grow off to the right, uh, though this one might cause a problem. I, I, I'm not that concerned with it anyway. Um, I might just pop that one back. Oh, well, I guess I just kill it instead. Uh, I guess that still works. Uh, but let's see, we've got potato seeds uh, there. Uh, I've got regular seeds already done. Flax seeds. And uh, then we've got some carrot seeds down the middle. There we go. And then we've got our ever needed rice seeds, which are going to be very close to the edge here because I, I need those desperately. Canola seeds. I don't even know what I'm growing with those besides canola plants. Um, beetroot, I think, was extra. Carrot. Regular. Do it. I thought that I had nine different flavors and I combined two into one. So that would have been like one, two, three. Wait, where's the, um, where's the, the, uh, beetroot? That's all I have is one beetroot seed? Holy crud. Okay, well, there's, uh, all of them plus that one blank row because I combined the, uh, uh pumpkins and, uh, melons into the same seed spot. I, I suppose I could use something else. Can I even grow coffee like this or is it something that I need on the side? I can. Sure, let's let's grow a bunch of coffee while we're at it. And now that everything is growing like this, actually what I need to do is take these rice seeds and, uh, good, the, these ones are at least coming back up, uh, and switch them around. Uh, reason being is uh, they're going to grow better with fertile land on both sides uh, of it and of a differing item besides itself. Uh, over here, it'll grow slightly less because there isn't fertile land on one side. So there we go. They should be doing good. And I think I might have a little bit of bone meal here. I do. So maybe I can... Look, this one's already starting to grow. 29%. Look at that. Oh, cool. And there's that. Now if I just... Right click. Oh, oh, goody. Goody, goody. All right, I'm getting rice seeds. More rice seeds. Finish the row off a little bit here. Let's do this and give me a bit more. That didn't give me any rice seeds. Uh, I did get rice from it, though, which is encouraging. So let's see if I can get still no rice seeds. Okay. Let's try this one. Ah, there we go. I just wanted one more to finish the row off, and now I actually have a bunch of rice. This is good news. This is very good news. Uh, with the rice... I can use it to make that stuff I've been talking about. Oh, and I didn't even realize that you can just turn rice into rice seeds. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a lesson learned. But uh, rice can be turned into rice dough, just crafting it together. That's kind of weird, but I do have enough to do that. And there I've got rice dough. And then I can use that to make those uh, slime balls that I need. Um, but I don't remember. Oh, whoa, rice bread. Interesting. Okay, well, that's... That's something learned right there. But I can get the uh, rice slime balls and use those to make slime blocks. No, that's that's not really what I'm going to be using it for. Ultimately, this is what I want to use it for. Vector plates and a few other things as well. But uh, the vector plates so that I can place them down in the, uh, the, um, the mob spawner over there. And vector plates can just be interchanged with themselves to make them faster and faster, which, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so let's... Um, turn these into the things I need them to turn into. Uh, namely, I need to get a bucket and start off with that. All right, making myself some oh, rice slime balls. Oh, I got four from that one. Oh, that's because I don't have enough for the rest of it. Well, I'm going to grab this uh, here, get myself another bucket of water. Put this back at the middle, and once I get some more growing up, I don't want to use up the last of my bone meal here. Uh, I, I could sieve some more if I really need to, but I am going to need some sugar canes. I have been harvesting those uh, over here, and yes, having the uh, cactus over there is a very poor choice because everything that falls on it gets destroyed. <laughs> but um, at the very least, I could turn... Um, I don't want that many in there. I just want like... Uh, let's do 16 of them into sugar and uh, that should help. I think I might have enough to do what I need to do right now, uh, which is let's see if I can get to that, uh, which actually packing tape would be nice as well. Um, everything needs some kind of slime ball at this point, <laughs> but uh, some kind of andesite stone or whatever. I've got a bunch of junk blocks in here. I'm going to use andesite uh, and we're going to try and make this work. Where'd it go? Slime balls, sugar, there we go. That gives me eight. 
Oh, wow. Uh, I forgot that it gave me eight each. So let's let's get a whole lot of these because I'm I'm gonna need a lot of them. And then um, I think I can. Yep, faster. <laughs> and then you can make them go extreme, which is a bit risky if I'm going to be doing that. Uh, yeah, and I touch that and I get flung off the edge or something. <laughs> that could be very entertaining. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, put that back. I am going to need more of this uh, rice dough. So for the meantime, I'm gonna put that in there, empty out the rest of my inventory, and uh, I'm gonna start building an area for mobs to spawn in. While I'm at it, I might as well upgrade my uh, uh, fate <laughs> while I'm here. So let's put this up here, add that in. And how's that durability looking? A little bit better. The um, mining speed is much faster and the attack is, well, practically the same thing. So it, it's no big deal there. Um, but let's find out how it looks uh, once I upgrade both sides. Now I realize that's, that means it's gonna take flint from now on to repair it. But um, I think, oh yeah, that durability goes up considerably more. And so does the mining speed go up even further. The attack, once again, does drop a tiny bit, but I, I'm not really that bothered with it. If, if anything, it still has that crude modifier on it. It now has a crude 2, which does uh, extra damage to uh, unarmored targets. But hey, at least it's got a little bit more speed, a little bit more durability. Now I have the platform done. I think I can start construction on the base of it. All right, so let's try putting down some of these uh, extreme vector plates. Now, I believe it depends on the, the side of the block that I'm uh, looking at that it, it aims at, so this should face towards me. Nope, definitely not that direction, <laughs> not that way. So I'm gonna have to be over here and place it that way. Now, here's the beauty of it. Uh, the um, <laughs> These work really, really well. Uh, for launching mobs because they don't uh, they, they ignore light levels uh, so if it's uh, you know like uh, yellow in this uh, area or red uh, whoa geez I just touched it and it just shot me across the room um, for instance there you go see the yellow here it actually will carry underneath the uh, these vector plates which is gonna make things a lot of fun uh, so I just need to place down a bunch of these and uh, then I'll probably need to get a little bit more because as you can see, that's only, that's not even half uh, of those. And I probably should have started at this side and worked my way back now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, mistakes are made. Good news though, is that some of the rice has uh, grown up and is ready to be harvested, which means I can get some more of this stuff. And uh, while I'm at it, I might as well plant some more of these rice seeds that I've got until some of the other crops get bigger. Uh, and then I can make some more rice faster uh, until I am uh, ready to use uh, other stuff. There we go, a few more vector plate sets. Ooh, 32 more in fact. And then we can just speed them along. Actually, here, I will show you uh, a little bit of a difference there for what the different speeds are. We'll keep one green one. And then, of course, we'll do uh, a red one so that you can see as well. Um, let's start with the green. And because uh, that's the slowest, I believe. And we'll have it launching me the wrong direction. I don't want to go off the platform. Give me that. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, so we'll do green and we'll have it aiming that way. And I will stand, I will jump on it, and you can see it just kind of slowly pushes me. If I just kind of, there we go. I was not actually uh, doing anything besides just getting onto it. Now, if I harvest that one, and we do the yellow one, and I step on it, it's much quicker. It's I'm trying to to move right, and it's not letting me at the moment. So it's it's a good speed. Then, uh, of course, <laughs> I don't know if you saw earlier, but I, I did step on one of those red ones. Let's make sure I've got this lined up right. I step on here, whoop, it shoots me pretty darn far, actually about three blocks there. Now, it that's the thing, I could have it uh, just launch the mobs, but uh, effectively I, I want them to keep the mobs up against something that's going to be damaging them. So uh, I am going to have to um, make sure that these are all uh, up to the one edge that's going to have all the uh, the um, the mobs being damaged, and I only need one block to do the damage, actually. Uh, which I, oh boy, I, I just totally have made a mistake here with this stuff. I'm gonna have to uh, uh, get rid of these bits at least. Uh, I wonder. All right, so here here's a danger part right now. Uh, I'm currently on 
cobblestones with cobblestone slabs underneath. I'm going to try harvesting all the extreme vector plates at once. Let's find out. And it seems to have worked. Okay, that was uh, fortuitous, if I do say so myself. Uh, now, do I want these all facing... Ugh. <laughs> facing um, this way. I think I want uh, some of the stuff facing this way. Uh, so I'm going to want to do this. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side here. There we go. And then uh, I can have stuff being shot forward uh, in this area. But for now, I need a way to get out of here. So I'm going to leave a path uh, so that I can do just that. And wouldn't you know it, that's where I ran out. I have uh, just enough here for a path, and uh, I want all the mobs to be pushed forward uh, into where I'm at at the moment. Actually, I'm a little concerned. I, I don't know if there's any bright areas in there at the moment, so I'm just going to put that torch down. I might uh, take a nap, and uh, oh, actually I might take advantage of the, uh, the rain and get a little bit more of this rice so that I can make more of these vector plates real quick, and then take a nap. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, finish that off. And there we go. A whole bunch more vector plates. Not that I exactly need that many, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do it anyway. So, there we go. Now I've got a bunch. I actually could put a few here. <laughs> just so I can get down here quicker. Oh, that, that's a bad idea. Unless I expand this platform. Oh, I've got some... Got some stone. Maybe I'll uh, put some cobblestone slabs down and have like a, a two-way uh, travelator going on here. That that could be a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> um, so let's see. I'm going to start up here, and we're going to have a bunch of the... Oh, that was a oops. Hey, there goes the item, which is actually a good thing, because that means that the items are going to be uh, launched out of this as well. Now, I want to eventually uh, replace this with some, like, dark glass or something like that, so that uh, I don't need to worry about, um, or so that I can see what is going on in there. But for the meantime, I think that should probably do it. Yeah, I think that'll probably do it. Uh, so I'm going to grab some of those um, uh, sugar canes. Actually, I should put a, a torch up here. Uh, before I go back. There we go. Now, can I make it back without getting launched in the opposite direction? <laughs> I figure it's about time that I uh, do a bit of an upgrade on my little storage chest here. So let's see if I can... There we go. Now it can hold a lot more because uh, I was actually uh, filling up more than I could uh, start holding. Uh, I took some out and I wanted to put some away and it was just like constantly uh, full. So therefore then I started backfilling my colossal chest. Very silly thing to do, but I was able to afford the, strangely enough, the level um, 2 upgrade, but not the level 1 because I haven't made uh, obsidian yet. <laughs> Uh, I could just make a smeltery easy enough and add a bucket of lava and a bucket of water and that would do it. But um, uh, yeah, I, I need to work on uh, getting some other things going once I can get this uh, up and running. All right, and here we are at the finished product. I have no idea if this is going to work properly, but by holding shift, you can actually walk across these uh, vector plates without any uh, issue. And uh, I have found that if you are in this area, it will just kind of shoot you back and forth up against it. And I was thinking if I've got baby zombies and stuff, it should help by kind of doing a little bit of damage there. I, I don't know if I'll lose drops there or not. I, I might put some uh, hoppers under that. I, I don't even know. This is just a work in progress for the moment. But you can see it's fairly uh, solid in here. I'm going to have to check out these corners, though. They look like they might be letting a little bit of light in. Perhaps it's just a block update issue. But uh, I've got the punji sticks, just three. I, I actually, whoa, I only need one, really. Ouch, that, that hurt quite a bit. There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, night vision. Now, just to put those back, and I will uh, see about getting up here. Actually, here. Oh, and I also dotted the, um, the pathway with these uh, extreme vector plates so I can get there a little bit quicker. <laughs> And it's not too bad. I mean, I know that there's some light coming in at this point, uh, but I also wanted to be able to open up the chest. So I was thinking I would uh, potentially close this in with a little bit of a half slap. So let's quickly get over here, put away a bunch of these. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. I need to put them in there, not in here. Uh, but I need a bunch of half slabs. So let's head back. Zoop. And look, I've already got mobs. Just stuff coming in uh, I, faster than I could possibly uh, get rid of it here. So let's... Uh, do a bit of this 
bit of that and that should help uh, close things off and there we go now uh, let's see if i can actually line up down the center here i hear bats in there i'm not really too too worried about that at least um and i should put i don't know if that's going to really mess things up but it, it looks pretty cool actually um i kind of like how it's kind of got like uh I don't know the slant to it. I wanted to um, uh, basically. Uh, actually, I, I need to get these out of here. They're just too close. Uh, I keep on having threat of running into them and being uh, pushed to my demise. Uh, instead, I wanted to have um, some. Uh, let's see if I can actually get over here. Some of these coming out a little bit more, so that I have a little bit more of a ledge to work with. Uh, there we go. That's better. And now I, I don't have to worry about falling off quite so easily, at least. Um, and, and I have a little bit of space to work with. Let me see if I can actually get over here and outline this one. What did I do? Like two? Oh, I just went over there. Okay, fair enough. Let's see if I can just reach this. And there. There we go. Now I've got a little bit to work with. I, I'm thinking I'm going to put some fencing up on either side of this so that I don't accidentally get launched off. Uh, and then I was going to expand this out like another uh, layer behind it. It's basically just a really big cube. Nothing really too fancy. Uh, as you can see here, I have a pretty decent setup. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I already got some bones and some arrows in there. That, that, that's a pretty good start, actually. Let me grab these bones, and uh, I, I might be able to upgrade something straight away. Um, <laughs> in fact, let's try it. Uh, see if I can uh, upgrade the tool rod, in fact, uh, of my current setup, bone tool rod, and put this in here, put this in here, and that is going to increase the, oh, the durability a lot and the attack damage. The mining speed's gonna stay the same, but that's all right, and it, it's fractured, so it's gonna do more damage as I do that. I like this, this is good. All right, let's grab another one, and we shall upgrade the pick as well. There we go. And the fact that, uh, oh, the stars are aligning. It looks really weird. Here it goes. Oh, aligning stars. Oh, it's so weird. And then everything gets blurry for a moment. Um, so there we go. Make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and obtaining loot. Done. Finally and completely. And as the uh, episode began, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and spread the mischief to others if you think they'll enjoy this content. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.